Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Empress. Today I'll be reading for the fire signs, which consist of Aries, Leo, and Sage. Alright, don't forget to like and subscribe and get notification bell. To book a private reading with me and shop in my store, all that information is in the description box below. Alright, so let's get into it. What is going on with the fire sign? Somebody's having issues with their computer, okay? The memory of the computer, maybe your computer not able to store or save things. So you might need an external or even internal hard drive, um, CPU, uh, UPC, UPC. Uh, you're expecting a big package in the mail, okay? Um, it may come broken, so be prepared for that. And that is definitely the carrier's fault. I'm hearing UPS, so UPS may be delivering it to you. Um, and, and it's definitely definitely their fault, okay? Um, so if you're expecting a package, like if you're watching this video before you expect the package and you know you had like the video or the camera uh, thingy, you know, the security thing um, in front of your home, Trying to make sure that's set up pretty good because the way that they kind of like thrust it or throw it, you may hear the glass break. So that could be your evidence right there. Uh, but yeah, I see CPU, UPC as well. Okay. Um, There's a bun here. Some of us, it's a big pun. <laughs> um, somebody wants to churn. Somebody has a very strong desire for you and they don't know how to explain it. They don't know how to they don't know how to surrender to it or so what surrender. Hmm. They're all over the place. Flipper flabber flabbergasted, like they're just enamored by your beauty or your handsomeness, okay? Just your beauty in general. Someone has a very strong urge or desire for you that they cannot, they don't understand, and they just can't surrender. They, they, they don't understand why they feel this way about you. They, and it's churning, it's churning in their minds, churning in their head. What? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go with the flow, and that might be a message within a message, go with the flow, so I'm just gonna see a read it, who knows? I was gonna say that's too much cars, but it's like take it. I'm like, all right. So we have um, sensuality, we have release and reverse, and so we have connection and trust. Okay, so someone wants to create a connection of trust with you, but like I said, when they are around you or they hear of you or they talk, you talk about them, they talk about you, however, whatever, it's like a desire, like the sensuality, they just can't stop. Like they, I don't know. I don't know, this sound a little gross. I ain't gonna hold you. This, this sound a little gross. 
like my whole energy just shifts. I just it don't like it's cool to have a natural attraction to someone, but it, it don't this don't feel natural. Just to, this I don't like it. Despair, insecurity is like someone is like lusting over you or obsessive, obsessively lusting over you in a very like a dark way, like a sexual harm or some kind of like it is 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 off. It's off. It's off. It's off. I like someone like to see you in despair and arguing. But they want to add like a sexual piece to that shit. So some kind of like sexual harm. I, I'm not I'm not gonna go too deep in that. I don't even feel like rocking with that type of information right now. I don't I don't. I just don't. Towards someone that's very caring, very loving, with the Queen of Cups here. Somebody wanna wanna put an ending to this. They're very addicted to you with the Devil card here. They love to see you in despair. Okay. So what's funny is so we have control, slow movement, addiction, positive outlook with a balance of despair. So there's control of a waiting game, control of small, slow movement, or control of a waiting game that someone is addicted to. They have a positive outlook that this will be balanced in despair. So they want someone to be in despair while they're just happy-go-lucky. So somebody just wants you to be like, you know, emotionally withdrawn and just not live a life, basically. And they watching you to look. You resting, you trying to rest. And this person watching them in the um in the window here. It also has rest in peace here too. Cause you in the dark. You in the dark about something. Somebody knows something and you don't. And by them opening up this window, it's gonna get shined or shown to you. Cause you've been sleep for a while. And the person that did it is the person that's going to show you. Ha! The person that did it to you is the person that's going to show you. You know why? Because they exposing themselves. It was no light here. But because they so fucking nosy and they got to see exactly what you doing. And all you doing is minding your fucking business. Remember, you in the dark. You minding your business. Ain't no light there. You ain't looking for no light because your ass is resting. And you got somebody that's watching you from afar, okay, thinking everything's covered up. They're not going to know what's going on. And look at them. Look at, look at, look at them sleeping. Look at them trying to get some rest. Not realizing all they tea, all they shit being spilled out. It's like a rainbow. It's like a kaleidoscope. It's a lot of shit that comes up, right? It's, it's, it's very, um, attentive. It's very, um... It's embarrassing. It's uh, it's like a ooh, an eye shocker, right? And not to say a rainbow is embarrassing, but when you look at a rainbow, the first thing, first thing you may think or say is, ooh, there's a rainbow, because not a lot of people get the, get to have that opportunity to see a rainbow. So they, you know, they they go a little above me. Oh my God, y'all look a rainbow, right? That shit has to shine through some way, somehow. And I like to think of a rainbow as just eclectic. It's just a lot of everything, right? So, this person's just exposing all that. You open up this damn window. Nobody asks you to because my ass is resting here. Your ass is resting here. My ass is resting here. Somebody resting here. Ain't nobody asks you to open up no goddamn window for me. My, I'm minding my business. But nah, you want to watch me. They want to watch you, right? 
And as they watch you, they exposing themselves. Surprise. So when I told y'all, y'all really ain't gotta do nothing. Y'all ain't gotta do fucking nothing. They will always expose themselves. And that's exactly what this person did. Because now you are awakening this person that you're not even realized that you're awakening. But because you so goddamn sneaky and nasty and stank and you trying to see what's going on, you're literally exposing yourself to the person that you're trying to cause harm to. World dumbest criminals? Y'all let me know. I, I need a topic for Not a topic. I need a title for that. World's dumbest what? What would that be called? <laughs> now they want to try to fight you <laughs> for the thing that they created for you specifically. Now they're trying to fight you. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. Brandy, 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 stick up to me. Now you're trying to stick on you, stick on, stick on to you like a motherfucking Brandy, motherfuckers. You want to have breakthrough? You let go. You have had breakthrough, which caused you to let go. <coughs> Ain't nobody worry about that shit. At all, boo. At all, boo. see money as a means to survive and you have to expand more money is not a means just to survive it's a means to do things and go shopping and you know go to our trips and stuff like that you know what i mean mine is to spend on oracle cards and uh tarot cards <laughs> my collection is just growing <laughs> But no, seriously. Money is not just for survival. Stop fighting yourself. You're fighting yourself. You're fighting yourself. You have to be comforted. Money is not just for survival. It's not. It can be used any way you want to use it. And if you just perceive it in a way like, okay, I don't, I don't, well, I only got this and it's only for that, then that's what it's only going to be for. You gotta rebel against the way you see money. Oh, I got five million dollars. Shit, I'm about to go give me something. To eat. I'm about to go do this. I'm about to go do that. Of course, with your priorities in the mix as well too. But just shifting the way that you see money. That money is solely only for you, for like bills, for survival. Well, I can't because I only got this. Don't think like that. Change your narrative. Yeah, you got fear, maybe, maybe stuck because of the way your money is thinking. It's stopping you from your nine of pentacles. Listen, you have delayed plans, and the reason why you may not have money coming in, or you may be struggling with it, or something. Yeah, make it page of pentacles. It's because the way you perceive money. Hey, that's crazy. So you had to do a, like a, a mental. What do you call that? Mental. Not a booster. Yeah, king of pentacles. Yeah, you have to do a mental. Um, I'm trying to think of it. Binaural beat. Like to to declutter the mind, your mental space. Yeah, because your your mind takes you far, sometimes a little too far. 
and it, it caused a lot of like trouble for yourself or how you feel towards certain things and situations. But King of Pentacles is here. And this is why you could feel betrayed by money or defeated by money because you're so controlling with the money. <laughs> Like, this could be you, but you got to get rid of these things. Like, you feel like, you know, you control the way money comes in. Like, okay, it's just for bills. Well, if you think it's just for bills, then it's going to be just for bills. If you think that the money's coming in, it can be spread throughout equally. Of course, your bills included your priorities. Then you will have more of it, and it won't feel like... <sighs> I can't never get to enjoy my money. I can't, you know what I mean? So you gotta change it. Yo, feel the trend. You're dishonest about, you're dishonest to yourself. You're just depending on money for survival. You can't be, you gotta untrain that. You gotta untrain that. Yeah, you gotta heal from that. You gotta move on. I'm moving for y'all. That's going to be the sudden upheaval. Watch. Get out of the your past. Get out of it. Because it's causing your, your delayed opportunity with the three of wands here. You're going to have to sacrifice the old for the new. You're going to have to get out of that, that um, money, financial, lack mindset. Get out of that shit. So you can start working together get out of this trickery that you know you created not even you but you were around your environment created for you because it's going to give you the opportunity or the direction or the willpower to move forward wait working together i think i said they're working together with the wealth card nine of cups um, then we have the moon card here so things being revealed resolution coming to it coming to a, 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 a head you know what I mean so that's good yeah that's good the cups and pentacles on here okay Bell. Until next time, fire signs. Peace.